Hey everybody, welcome to RoastyCoffee.com. My name is Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a Chemex pour-over brewing system for coffee. All right. What you'll need is a Chemex pour-over brewing system, some Chemex pre-folded paper filters, freshly roasted coffee beans of your choosing, a burr grinder, hand or automatic. In this video, I'll use a hand grinder. Tablespoon or scale for coffee measuring. I prefer a scale, it gets more accurate measuring. A tea kettle, an original or an electric gooseneck kettle, absolutely preferred here, go with a gooseneck. And of course, mugs or some sort of carafe to keep your coffee in once it's been brewed. I almost finished this, I'm gonna have to make more. All right, first thing we want to do is measure out 500 grams or about two cups of water to start heating up in your kettle. If you can control the temperature, heat the water to 205 degrees Fahrenheit or about 96 degrees Celsius. If not, just bring it to a boil and take it off the heat for about 30 seconds. Grind your beans using a medium grind until you have enough for about 30 grams of coffee or two tablespoons. Open a paper filter and put it in the brewer. Then we're going to pour some hot water to preheat and rinse the Chemex. It will also keep the filter in place. Then you can dump out the water before you start to brew. When the water is ready, put the grinds in the filter and pour enough water just to saturate the grinds and let it sit for about one minute. This is called the bloom. The bloom is the process of heating up the coffee so that it degasses off carbon dioxide. You'll see it puff up and create little bubbles. It's really cool and it'll let you know that your coffee is fresh. Once the bloom is complete, slowly pour the water over the coffee in either a side-by-side or circular motion. It's like a fun game to aim for the dark spot so that all your coffee is evenly saturated. Once the coffee is fully filtered, dispose of the grinds and enjoy. If your coffee isn't hot enough, you can put the Chemex on a glass or gas burner, but do not put it on an electric coil burner. They make an adapter for that. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go to RoastyCoffee.com. And uh, meanwhile, enjoy your coffee that you just made. Wonderful. So good. Mm. It's good. It's really good. Good to the last drop. Ugh.